you know, it's been a minute since we've done a pickup video. Now, since moving to Florida, my pickups have been slow. Now, other than my Market of Marion video, I have picked up a few titles that I want to go over, but there are two big items that I'm going to be showing you towards the end of the video. So please stay tuned and let's go ahead and get started. stores like I should be doing there's a lot in my area a lot of them are really small like mom and pop ones which you know that sometimes those are the ones you find the good deals recently I got Frontline's Fuel of War they had 50% off everything so it was $1.50 I play shooters every once in a while but I figured for $1.50 that was a pretty good deal and then in another thrift store the lady said that all games were like two bucks each unfortunately the majority of them were scratched to hell but I did manage to get one of the Hot Shot games, which are fun little quirky golf games. I enjoy a good golf game every once in a while, with Golf Story being my all-time favorite. And then Scaler being another one, which honestly looks really fun. It looks like it's a platformer game where you transform into a dragon. One of my coworkers actually had a crazy, like, nostalgic story for it, and she's not really much of a gamer, and that kind of really inspired me to keep looking for those, like, odd titles that I've never seen before because this one looks like a lot of fun as I really enjoy platformers. I was having one of those like nostalgic moments where I was like man I really want to play this game again. It's not a good game like really at all Fury Racing but when I ended up ordering it from eBay I ended up getting the wrong disc and so I got a full refund so I did get a free case and a free different game. It's not the one I wanted. I will eventually look for the disc, but I remember playing this game when I was younger and about probably middle school and I had a lot of fun with it. Two games I've been holding out for, I recently found on eBay for really cheap. Uh, for you, people who don't know who I am, I love the Yakuza series. Like Yakuza 0 is on my top 10 games of all time. And Yakuza Like a Dragon ended up being $15 on eBay with free shipping in its steelbook case. I couldn't pass it up. I've been dying to play this. It looks like it's kind of a standalone title where it's got a lot of the same features, but you're playing as a different main character. So if you're somebody who doesn't want to commit to seven games in a series, it looks like this one would be a good standalone title. However, I haven't played it, so for all I know, it might tie it into like the mainstream series. But I'm really glad I found this for $15. It was totally worth the cost. Another eBay pickup, this one was like $13.44 total, The Outer Worlds. A lot of people seem to want to compare this to Fallout New Vegas, I believe, um, but this game is supposed to be a much more like futuristic game, not so much like old school like the, the Fallout series. I haven't spent a lot of time with the Fallout series, but this game caught my eye when I read it in one of those Game Informer magazines. I remember reading about it and being super pumped about it. The only reason I didn't buy it at launch is because it didn't have a multiplayer like function to it and I really wanted to buy it on computer so I could play with some of my friends but they ended up not doing that so I held off until the game got really cheap. But I've heard really good things about it. So I was minding my own business, scrolling on Instagram, it was late at night, I don't even remember what I was doing or where I was, and I see somebody see, say, the Simpsons arcade caps are on clearance at Walmart for $199.99. So I immediately go to Walmart, and when I get there, they say their full price, the $399.99. I ask the lady about it, I show her online that it's reflecting that for sale price, and she says, oh, you can only order it online. You can't, you can't buy it here like that. We, won't, we don't match that, which that's a whole thing on its own. I don't know if that was even correct. I was pretty livid. I ended up on my way home ordering it online, and going back to the exact same store like a day later to have them loaded in by car. But I am super glad to have an arcade one up. I've been wanting one for a long time. I wasn't sure which one I wanted to get. Um, you know, I was thinking between like the Mortal Kombat to the Simpsons, but I ended up playing this Simpsons arcade cab, like the real one with gaming off the grid. So I have a lot of fond memories with this one. And honestly, the cabinet is just beautiful. So this last one is my favorite of them all. I don't know if you would consider it a pickup, but it is something that I've recently added to my collection. Gaming Off The Grid did a charity stream, which they've done this for 
quite a few years now, I think at least four, where they raise money for children's cancer in their uh, the state that they live in. And every year they also put up their own money and get stuff to give out to the people who donate. You know, it's a random number generator type thing. And I ended up winning. Here we go. I got this purchase. So random number generator app. God, it's so blurry. It's so blurry. I know it's fucking shitty. I'm sorry. But I just hit that blue generate button and I've got it set to one through 249. We're going to hit it one fucking time. Damn, we beat it. And one. whatever line, if you live in the continental US and it lands on you, we will uh, Dude, send you the switch. Dude, Joe, yeah, we beat last year and we're still live for three and a half more hours. All right, are we ready? Let's fucking do it, dude. Let's fucking Bam! Do it. What do we got? What do we got? 185. 185. Let's go to the spreadsheet. Dude, there's so many. Sell 185. Oh, I passed it. 180, 181. Oh, my God. What a asshole. I don't even want to say it out loud. I don't either. I don't even. Can we draw it again? Asshole. Can we draw it again? This winner is an asshole. Can we draw it again? You can. It's a one and done. And it sucks because it's live. The winner of this switch, we're not fucking around. Dude, I don't, and I don't want this person to win. <laughs> I hate that this person will win. I kind of do because she's badass. I mean, it's awesome, but. But she's also an asshole. Sam Azira. You were in cell 185, 185 from no, your old $10 fucking no donation. Joke, dude. From a long time ago. Sam. Oh my God. Much love, sister. Even though you're a shit-talking piece of shit. Seriously, much love. Oh my God. We're going to be mailing this switch out to Sam Azira. Zaza Raza with a 99 cent donation. Un. Unbelievable. One of you guys farted. I, dude, it was not me. Dude. Unbelievable. Dude, EB, it was not me because I haven't even pooped, dude. Actually, I tried to poop. I can't even believe that just fucking happened. Dude, look at Robert Yanovich and Frank Black. Dude, that was so long ago. Like, that was forever like, ago. That was like this morning. Like, how? I can't dude, she, that's how I know when she beat me on stuff, she's lucky. She's fucking lucky, dude. I fucking hate it. I gotta, hang on, I got, okay, I got, we're not done, we're still streaming for three yes. and a half hours, so Zaza Raza and that, dude, dude, here's what's crazy. <laughs> That's, we're, oh man, we're freaking talking shit, here's, and she fucking wins. Badass, okay, though, okay. badass, badass person. Congrats, congrats to Sam, yeah. but also, we're making fucking history tonight, Guys, folks. New four-year record, three hours to go. Eight thousand three hundred and sixty-eight dollars, and we ain't done yet. I swear this shit wasn't rigged. Number one, fucking eighty-five. Jesus Christ! Random generator bullshit. Bam. And like, unreal. Here's the box right here. I know that kind of clip was a little bit long-winded. Now, you have to understand my relationship with Gaming Off The Grid. I give them a lot of shit. When we first met in person, we were playing a lot of video games together because the first interaction we had in person was at an arcade. I'm a little bit competitive. A asshole. Okay, I'm a lot competitive. That's how I know when she beat me on stuff, she's lucky. She's fucking lucky, dude. I fucking hate it. No, Wes. I won because I'm better than you. But in any case, we like to give each other a lot of shit. So don't take anything they say as anything serious. Uh, lo much love to them as well. They are doing an amazing thing by raising money for children's cancer. And you should definitely catch their stream next year. They usually do it around September. But if you follow them on any of their platforms, you'll be notified when it's happening. You should definitely go and donate. I never thought I was going to get an OLED switch. Personally, I really don't have the funds to go buy one. The screen is beautiful. The Joy-Cons on this variant is beautiful. This Splatoon 3 release. I mean, I appreciate so much that this is in my collection and it means so much more that it came from such an awesome event. I will cherish this forever and I will have it displayed in my collection very proudly.
Thank you so much for watching. I love that in 2022 you can still stumble across some titles that you get excited about and there are some good deals out there still, although far and few these days, but my bigger items that I got this time are really exciting. I'm going to treasure them. I'm so excited to be able to share this with you and I hope that you found this video interesting. Let me know in the comments down below what kind of pickups have you been getting recently? What of my items was your favorite that I got? Um, thank you all everyone for checking this out and if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do that.